hey everyone and welcome to my channel in case you're new here kindly take a second and click the subscribe button so for the returning subscribers may god just bless you all i thank you all because we are almost hitting the mark and going very far some of you uh, i told you to ask me questions on the comment section and uh, for the questions that i was asked i replied all of them even the ones that were asked on my instagram and uh, for today i want to take you through how to file nail returns slowly by slowly step by step so that at least you don't keep going to the cyber and in if at all you have a phone with this phone you can file returns whether nearly returns whether income ret uh, returns within less than five minutes for nearly returns it takes you less than two minutes so most of the times when we go to the cyber you are charged of uh, 400 kenya shillings or 500 kenya shillings which you can't even use when you're filing returns for yourself. So doing it for yourself, you can use data for 20 bob. 20 bob. Kefao. Sawa. But when you go out there, una spend your time, una end up with a diwa pesa mingi. Let me show you a hack so that you can save money and stop going to cyber. Skwenda cyber CV buyer. But if you watch this tutorial, Utaweza kuelewa how to file new returns. In my next video, if at all, okay, if at all you want me to show you how to file um, income uh, returns, uta comment apo kwa comment section. And for those who are not in Kenya, you can tell us how you file. Because I believe in each and every country, we have different um, ways of collecting revenue. Here we call it Kenya Revenue Authority. So you can leave a comment and tell us how you call it in your country. Okay, so without much uh, talking, uh, I will just go straight to the point. Remember, if you don't file your returns on or before that 8th of June, you are going to be charged a penalty of 2,000 Kenyan shillings. I don't know if at all it has increased. It has been 2,000 Kenyan shillings for the longest time sorry oh my goodness sorry and uh, on top of you being charged 2000 kenya shillings you will not be uh you will not get your tax compliance certificates which i'm sure each and every one of you knows the repercussions something else i should mention before we start uh i know most of you ask who should file uh, returns whether you are earning or not whether you are uh, whether you are employed and you lost your job you are still going to file returns if you are employed you are going to file returns if you were employed and you lost your job you're going to file returns in case you have a kra pin kra pin kenya revenue authority pin it is a must you file returns and you're going to file nil returns because you don't have any source of income okay so usiseme we ulichukua kiare pin ukiwa 18 years borrow kona id i know most of the people with id wa kona kiare pin so we uta file nil returns zenye na kuonyesha sahi because Haimanishi kama hauna kazi sahi hutawai pata kazi. At some point in life utaitaji kazi. At some point in life utaitaji driving license. At some point in time utaitaji kununua shamba. And you can't get those things without KRA clearance. Sawa. So kama weo unasemaga ukona KRA pin lakini you don't feel because hauna kazi ama vitu kama hizo. Let me tell you itabidi ufile returns. So if that's you, make sure umeangalia ukona penalty ya pesa ngapi. Wendo ulipe your penalty, uwanse kufile your returns. Because you never know, sayi unaiza kuwa hauko job ama haufanyi chuchote. Lakini kesho unamukia, umeangukia kikazi. Kiare zako ziko in a mess, everything is in a mess. Tukue wajanta na tuwanse the process ya kufile returns. Which should take us not less than two minutes and we go so the first thing i'm using my laptop for today the last time i showed you with my phone i think my phone really yeah the last time i showed you with my phone today i'm going to show you with um, my laptop then 
hakuna kitu hakuna tofauti there is no difference whether you using a laptop whether you using a phone the reason i'm not using my phone is because there's something i'm i'm doing with this phone na staki ku interact ama ku na staki ku disrupt you see rudi nyuma right so let's all open our laptops let's all open our phones we switch it on kama ilikuwa off u login then it tufuatane hapo sawa if you're using a laptop, make sure you're logging. If you're using your phone, make sure you're on Wi-Fi ama uko na data so that we start. For me, yangu ilikuwa off, so I'm going to log in. Then I wait for you to log in. Last time, some someone commented I did it so fast that they didn't even understand. And uh, today, I'm here to do it slowly yani ile pole pole kabisa hadi kila mtu aelewe next you are going to your browser for me i use a uh, chrome but before that i ensure ni kona wifi that's why you can see i'm connecting uh, my laptop to the wifi and on top there hope you can see i'm connected So after clicking Chrome, you'll uh, you'll go to iTax portal. As in, you'll just type iTax portal, then it will take you to this page. Hope we are all together here. I can give you like one, two, three minutes uh, on account of one to five. Ufike hapa, then we continue. Then where you are told enter PIN stroke user ID, you're going to enter your KRA PIN, not your ID number. Okay? Hope we are together there. You're going to insert your KRA PIN together with your password. Then you do that uh, security stamp. You do that simple math. So for me, I did it intentionally, have, uh, have logged with the wrong password intentionally so that I show you how you reset your KRA password in case you forgot your password. Reset your KRA password, you are going down there where it's written forgot password. Hapo yangu iko. You click there. Then after clicking there, utatumiwa a certain code to your email. Make sure pia unakumbuka pin yako ya, pin, uh, ya email. Alafu uki log in, diyo utajikuta hapa sasa. Unaona venye tumembiwa, your password has been mailed to you. Meaning password yako umetumiwa kwa email. Usikai hapo ugoje mtu wakupigia simu wakuambia ni mereset password ama kitu kama iyo. So remember when you are resetting your password inakurudishaga back to where we were starting. So we are going back to enter our KRA pin again. Uweke password hiyo yenye umetumiwa. And uh, just to mention something. Ukiangalia password yako sometimes unapataga kuna capital letters, kuna sijui nini. Just dial the zenyewe venye zinakau, sishinde kuweka makaps na hizo vitu, na itaingiana vizuri juu. Kianza kuweka the caps, you'll realize inashinda kukuambia iko wrong, okay? Let me know if we are together up to that point by liking the video. And uh, tell me on the comment box if at all we are together on this. So kama wu unajue esabu yenye unajue ni ya pesa peke yake, make sure you use a computer or uh, sorry calculator to do that math. Ju kikosea itakata bado. And after doing that math, log in so that we go to the next step. So next we are going to fill in all the blank spaces. For the old password, remember we've reset our password, so you're going to use the password that you were sent on your email. For the new password, you're going to set your now new password. That is your secret. Never save your passwords. Then you do the math. You confirm security answer again. Then you read all those things that are written in those boxes. And uh, I don't know if you can see we have some boxes that are written. I agree to the KRA web, uh, website policy and di dis uh, disclaimer. After you've read and understood, you're going to blue tick those boxes, both the box at the top and also the box at the bottom. Then you submit. We are almost there.
so let's go to the next step which is almost the final step when i say blue ticking i mean uh ticking ama kuweka kufinya hako ka box ndiyo kaeke tick then next this what you are going to see for us we are only concerned about returns then you will go down to where it's written file near returns it's my hope we are together next you are going to fill these spaces we have type that is self you are just going to leave it like that taxpayer pin that's your kra pin tax obligation you are going to select uh, income tax residential individual then you click next so hope you can see somewhere written under uh, let me show you under personal identification number next we have wife pin don't write your wife's pin here but if at all you want to give us your wife's mpesa pin you can as well write it there but usually you should leave it as a blank space then you come here and finish everything by now hope you can see we are told download returns receipts meaning we are through and we've successfully filed our returns down there there is a survey if you're willing you'll do it for me i am not willing to do it for today so that's the simple steps for filing nil return hope you've learned something and if you've enjoyed the video let me know on the comment section in case you're not subscribed to my channel consider subscribing and uh, also if you have any question you can write it on the comment section and i'll get to answer each and every question bye